Arpeggios are great because they sound more melodic than just doing the straight chromatic uh, exercises. They have a, a nicer sound to them. And uh, arpeggios oftentimes require you to use your third and your fourth fingers to kind of swivel off of and to, to plant and bass things and to initiate things with. And uh, that's better than just using your first and your second fingers to initiate things all the time. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about. We'll take a look at this, uh, one of my favorite arpeggios, the C major 7 arpeggio here at the, uh, the seventh fret. I'll play it for you. Once I'm done, I just come up a half step and then I descend down the arpeggio. Once I'm done descending, I just come up a half step and play the exact same pattern again. Then up a half step and descend. Now, of course, you want to get this to where there's no gaps between the ascending and descending. I left the gaps in just to show you how I was moving up a half step, uh, step each time. But this is how it should sound. Now, a thing to remember about uh, speed, and especially when you're trying these things for the first time, is you don't want to go any faster than uh, your hands will take you. Speed is one of those things that you just kind of want to let come to you. So as you're practicing this, start out purposefully slow, and then if you find yourself naturally picking some parts faster, then that's fine. You want to let that happen. But for the most part, you want to keep things slow until your hands adjust and your mind adjusts and you get used to doing the pattern. The intro starts on the low E string and it goes like this. So then it's the B, A, and see I, I keep this uh, B string ringing on the G. throughout the whole thing. <laughs> 